in a uh, recent webinar we had, Naraj popped in and said, hey, I, I need to be able to keep track of the status of the preceding task. Uh, actually, he had services have assignments. This is projects as tasks, but the same thing related parent to child. And so as we look at the tasks and uh, we look at our customer service system upgrade over on the right hand side, you can see we've got the record ID of the task. And this is really a predecessor uh, functionality. We can say, hey, there's a predecessor that precedes this one which advises us to tell us what is and gives us the ability to know the ID of the preceding task, which tells us that maybe we can use a formula query to figure out what the status of that previous task is. Notice down below here, this is completed. Why? Because this is completed. So whenever you're looking at something, you can see what the status is above you, so to speak, of a, of a task that's going to happen. So let's take a look at what the formula query allows us to be able to do. Um, and so let's see, uh, we're going to work from the inside out here. We're going to first get records. And this is the query where field ID three is equal to the predecessor. Now three is the record ID of the, uh, the record we're on and we're looking at it to match the predecessor of the value we are. So once we find that record, what do we want out of it? I want to get the value of a specific field out of that, which is 12. Bring that back. That's the status field of the record where we just looked up. We're looking up for the status. And then we're getting that value, which is what we did for field 12. And then we're converting it to text and displaying it right here. And so now what we've got is that ability to do that just using a formula query. We cover things like this in our... Uh, um, daily webinars. They're office hours held Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. East Coast time. Everybody's welcome. Uh, have a great day.